You're a gaslighter. <laughs> I've been speaking to you since 2017, and all these other activists have been bullshitting them. And now we've got the proof. They are screaming, suffering to death in that, that chamber. And you've been out here gaslighting everyone, defending the, the most evil thing on earth nearly. How can you prove that that's from air? Because I put the cameras in myself. How did you do that? Did you watch it? What is it? Yeah, well, we were told about that. Apparently that's not here. Not here, that. Straight. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Do you not reckon that's it? It's supposed to be an Oscar. Because you've had a lot to say about this. You said they don't scream when they... I remember I've talked to you about four times here. Yeah. You've just been around the back, haven't you? I know you can hear them what you... you the top of the screaming, but the building you went to, that, that's hilarious. That rock box. So you can't hear them screaming from the gas chamber no. from over here? Be a horrific way to die, eh? To drown in gas like in a dark. You don't squeal, right? I'm not even out. It's not, not even your chambers. Gondolas. Yeah, no. You're a gaslighter. <laughs> You're a gaslighter. You, do, you don't need to defend them, man. Like, no. you don't get paid to defend them. You're only security, bro. You, uh, unless you really love the, the pilgrims. No, I don't. This is their chamber. Do you know how I know? Well, because I put the cameras in myself. Do you think I'll pay someone else to do it? How did you do that? Oh, it's not your chamber though, eh? I thought it'd be uh, quite important just to, maybe we just do a minute of silence, so we can just, uh, right there. The gas chamber's just over there, so a lot of the screams that you're hearing do come out of that chamber. You've seen the footage. They will try to say it's not, but it, they are horrifying, loud screams. So, I just thought we could just uh, reflect. There's been a lot of history here at this uh, particular slaughterhouse. The reason it's been so notorious is partly because of the screams that you can hear from this public walkway. And for years and years, particularly the guards here, which this isn't, they're, they're not fully responsible and accountable for this, but particularly the guards here have been saying that those screams are not what you think they are. They're just uh, the pigs in the lairage fighting. Uh, one of the guards said that the pigs are having sex or something like that. So really, really disgusting gaslighting and I was absolutely convinced that what was going on there was exactly the same as what was going on in every other gas chamber on earth. And uh, now, the evidence come out from inside this chamber, and this is just a small snippet of what's in there. You told me that they, they fall asleep and they, they, those screams are them, them having sex with each other. You've told me all these things, like, and all the activists here, that you're crying for the screams, you've got nothing to cry about. You know, I, I think you know, guys coming out here and crying. This has been a long time in the making and um, took a lot of risks to get this and I thought it was really important because uh, they can always say it only happens in other countries or that's not here in the UK. We, 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 our gas concentrations are much better or whatever they try to say. They'll try to say anything and now they're just denying it's their slaughterhouse but they won't be able to deny that for much longer. Have you been inside of there? I've worked in them. I was on the building maintenance here. And I, when, they, when they made that chamber, I worked. And you're saying that's not it? Well, that doesn't look like Why, what, what does yours look like then? Well, I can't even see it myself. <laughs> uh, you can get it on YouTube. It's, it's in The Guardian. How can you prove that that's from here? Uh, I've done my due diligence. No, but you, you know The Guardian reported on it. Do you think The Guardian report on something without having evidence? They've got lawyers and everything, you know that. They could get sued. Yeah, yeah they've got enough proof. Like I delivered them the proof. I haven't just got this. No, but what have you delivered them? And that's none of your business, but you'll find out soon. No. But I'm just saying, why defend them? They are screaming, suffering to death in that, that chamber. And you've been out here gaslighting everyone, defending the, the most evil thing on earth nearly. What you're looking at is probably one of the most horrific um, slaughter methods on earth. I think what the industry are gonna push for is for this to kind of be phased out and basically use a different kind of gas. So the animals will still be 
having their right to life violated. Even the industry are calling for a phase out. They know it's bad, but you come out here doing more than, you're, than you need to by telling everyone that this isn't bad. Oh, no, no, they're not screaming in there. This gas chamber's good, actually. If the levels are okay. Really? They, 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 enough gas to come. Uh, so? You know, if it isn't the right level of gas, if they, they're getting air and gas. That's where they're going to be flailing. I think the levels might be off in Australia. That's why they're screaming here. The levels are, I know what the level is here, 90% minimum. I, I've had that gas in my eyes. Yeah. It's horrible gas. I've, I've had that gas in my lungs. And how'd it feel? Not good. So it feels not good for you, but it's the pigs there, they're not screaming in there. I would just say, just back off defending that horrible Because you don't need to, you're here for security. You're not here to defend animal abuse. We are fighting for the rights of these animals. And once the animals have rights, you can't treat them like this or any other imaginable way for uh, profit so they'll be protected. That will be the focus of the campaigning. You can always use these, this kind of, these horrible scenes to show what the result is of animals not having these kind of rights. How do you defend this? Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. What is your opinion of this? You said it hurt you, it doesn't hurt the pigs? If somebody said to me, would you rather the pigs not bump here? Yeah. I'd say yeah. Okay. That's a good start, but why are you telling us they're not screaming in there? Why are you telling us that uh, it doesn't well, harm the pigs? The pigs? Don't scream, squeal. <laughs> yeah, screams. Uh, That's a well, semantics issue. Why are you being silly? They're uh, uh, terrified, making a screeching sound for their lives in there. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And you're telling me that you can't hear it from that wall. That everyone's crying because they're all soft and I don't know. They're just weird. And the the vegans are weird. Here comes the pigs. I'd like to know you got in when it was operational for a start. I'm not saying that. Hey, Barry, that's all beside the point. The point, main point is why are you saying that this isn't bad for them? Hi, babies. These pigs here are going into this chamber here. The security are still maintaining this isn't their chamber, but they've got a surprise coming anyway. I don't know why the security tried to defend or say this isn't their chamber. It's an easy way out, but that chamber footage does not exist anywhere else in the world. I just so happened to have it in my hands. But uh, we'll see. If, they, if it's not their chamber, they can sue me for defamation. That'll be fun. Anyone with half a conscience can look at this and say it's disgusting, and if you don't, you don't have a conscience. Or you're trying to defend the indefensible. You're trying to defend a corporate JBS, Pilgrim's Pride owned by JBS, massive conglomerate multinational bunch of scumbags, and you're trying to defend them, trying to defend that. It's all right, they've got a shock of their lives coming, don't worry. The reason I'm bringing up Dan is because, uh, me and Dan did this together. I just uh, want to thank Dan because uh, it's pretty gutsy what Dan did with me. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about how that happened and how that come about, but we're going to keep that quiet. If you could respect that privacy for now. And I know you'll want to know how the f we f did that. And I'm sure they're f just like, they, they don't understand either because they really want to know too. And that's why I don't want them to know just yet. They'll find out when the documentary's out. They won't be able to hide behind this. The thing about the UK is that the UK claims to be the best welfare in the world. The pinnacle of animal welfare. Well, it's not, it's not at all. And this footage here is, is like, you can see the suffering, you can see the fear. These animals know what's going on. They smell the blood, they smell the fear, they, they, they vocalize to each other and panic ensues. And this is what we can hear now. So this footage is vital. It's vital to get out there and we all need to share this footage. Everyone in Manchester's gonna know this. What's going on in here? Soon? <laughs> Anyone would think the security guards are getting paid by the pork industry, the way they defend it. Like, I mean, like underhanded. You should just back off it, mate, because soon it's gonna be, you're gonna be a laughing stock if you keep saying that. Or you just look like a really bad person. I don't think you're a bad person, but what you're doing now is defending the indefensible. And you don't need to, it's not part of your pay grade. They don't pay you to defend them. They don't go, hey, mate, here you're, a f unless they are, are they paying you to be a mouthpiece for them? I don't work in that plant anymore. Yeah, but you've been here for 20 years. You've been, I've been, I've been speaking to you since 2017. I know you. Yeah, and all these other activists, you've been bull****ing 
fing them. And now we've got the proof. But that's on your conscience. She's never bought us. He doesn't need to. Okay. He's probably curious whether this is actually it. Okay. No, stick your head in the top. Have a look. The other guy doesn't even work her anymore. I don't even why, why he's so defensive. Yeah. Just say it's f***ed up. They're just going to deny, 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 deny. When the doc's released, they'll probably still try to deny it. What matters is what what, uh, what the people think, actually. So, of course, the company's going to deny. And I don't know why the security guards are. The company, should they shouldn't defend the company. Um, they should just do security. That's it. But uh, even the company um, representative said, oh, we, we don't know if that's ours, so we can't comment. But well, you will know, mate. After all these years, I've been coming here. And like since 2017, he's gaslit us. Gaslit, like he said, the screams aren't coming from the chamber. Yeah, and he, he hasn't worked here for two years, but he's here, he's, they've yeah. called him back here today just to do a little bit more gaslighting. Hey, sweetie. In literally a couple of hours, these animals will be in what you just seen. Hello. Sick. Disgusting. Shame on this company, man, eh? Hey? Shame on it. You gotta do your job, but I understand. I, I, I'm not nothing against workers or anything, because you gotta make money, it's fine. But shame on this company. It's disgusting, mate. They're gonna look back in history at this shit, man, and they're gonna say, what the fuck are we doing? Disgusting. Off they go to this gas chamber here, in this footage. What you see in uh, the back of the truck there is what happens when uh, animals don't have rights. They can be treated like uh, produce products. Um, they have no, like the only, the, they only have basic welfare and that's it, which doesn't protect their, their interests. This is what happens with the welfare movement. Gas chambers, this is what it's done. But if animals have rights, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to, allowed to violate their rights and put them in a gas chamber. Free range or not, this company does a lot of free range. And that's what they got to look forward to. Sick. I thought I'd give some context to Manchester Pig Day just for people who don't know. Uh, here they have, uh, each truck has 300 pigs per truck. That equates to 3,000 pigs per day. And in a year, that equates to half a million pigs. So to put pilgrims into context, I did have some involvement with it because they do own about a third of the pigs in Britain. Um, they're associated with the, the second largest food company in the world. This is probably the best you can get. Um, huge funding and high-end produce going into places like Waitrose in a country, as pointed out, we hear it all the time with some of the best welfare in the world. So isn't that just such a depressing thought that this is the best that we can do for pigs? I asked when I was in the industry why there weren't cameras within the chambers and I was categorically told that it would be too awful um, and it could be used against us and something would then have to be done to change it. You say you've got all the foxes, I mean, to what avail will that come? I mean, it's like Manchester Pig Set. Yeah, I don't have to prove it to you anyway, Steve. It's no, about pilgrims no, anyway, you know what I mean? I'm asking you to prove anything, but we've been coming here. I'm asking right? you to stop gaslighting activists because you don't know what you're talking about. That's what I'm asking you to do because it's because it's uh, you don't have to do that. And you've been yeah, doing it for American years. Talk, say, well, let's say bullshit. Do you know what gaslight means? It just means you're trying to deny reality to people's uh, face. Yeah. And then now we've got footage and you're still trying. Re retire from like gaslighting. That's what I'm saying. It's obviously up and even the industry themselves know it's up there's a huge push all around the world they know it's up but you are saying here it's not up you're doing the devil's work you know about if, if you, you say you've got all this fossil and this and the other yeah and what what the hell is it going to come to what's it going to ever do that's a different question as to uh, the, the question i'm asking is it's up why are you saying it's not i just don't get why they're still fighting why steve just won't just lay down and let it rest he should just say it's but it's up, man. I just work here. You know what I mean? Just say it's yeah, up. Exactly, I just work here. Exactly. 
but it's not about Steve anyway, it's about the corporation anyway, but still, I just, it's something about him because we've gone so long. And ever since I ever spoke to him, man, first conversation, the activists come out from around the side crying, oh, they're, I don't know why they're crying, it's just the pigs in the lairage. You know, it's always tried to belittle people and, you know. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge and recognise the sacrifices that activists make every day. Everybody here, you know, putting yourselves in very challenging, very uncomfortable situations and often incredibly dangerous. Like, I'm so impressed by you guys getting in there. The security loops I had to jump through to work in there as somebody who was actually meant to be there. Um, the fact that you got in is incredibly impressive and the footage is, is so excellent and speaks for itself. So, yeah, thank you. If you look at any social justice movements, it's only 3% of the population that create the change and it's only the activists Sorry, that's quite off-putting, yeah, though. Um, and it's only the activists that create the change. And Martin Luther King said, it's one of his famous quotes, that there's no inevitability that good will prevail. And it's down to you guys. So I just want to say a huge thank you to all the activists that come here, whether you come regular, whether you come occasionally. For me, I'm so proud to be with you guys and you guys make this a better world. So thank you, thank you to you all. Think of how much that footage affects you and then take it out and, and have it affect others as well. But focus on the rights of the pigs. All right, not on uh, let's make it better for them, which they've been trying to do for since the welfare movement began and nothing's changed. They need fundamental rights, the same that you would ask but for basic rights for human beings. They should get no less. I'll give you all premiere invites to the documentary, all right? And then uh, Steve will be eating his words. Steve, if you're wrong, all right, you have to go vegan forever. And I want you standing out the front with a sign saying ban gas chambers, all right? And you can come to the premiere, Steve, all right? You can come to the premiere. <laughs>